Hello brothers and sisters. In this video I want to tell you my insane way to train songs. With this method you won't get bored and you have motivation to play 6 horse straight. How I'm able to train 6 horse straight? Well it's not exactly the straight because I am having micro breaks. So that's the first important thing. When you're practicing something take breaks because it will just refresh your mind. So. For example, play for 45 minutes, then you take 5 minutes break, beards through your window or whatever, just like refreshing your mind out of the guitar, just for a while. Or go grab a coffee. Coffee is great. You take coffee. And then come back. So basically every one every one hour, every 24 minutes, go take a micro break. If you need faster micro breaks, do it. Some people may need 30 every after 30 minutes, some people may need every one hour. So it's it's basically implementing a working routine for yourself so that you will have the drive to keep doing what you're doing. The second tip here is that try to stack as many songs as you can. That means don't just practice one or two songs. You can't literally have discipline to play three hours in a row, same song, and you will just get bored, you get blinded with the song, and you start to repeat things, and you probably start to do mistakes with the song when you're practicing it. So it's like, when you're practicing the same song too much, you will just play it worse. There are certain times that when I'm practicing some songs first time in the morning, like Sabaton Bismarck, for example, I'm playing it really good, and second time I'm playing it really good again. If I'm playing it third time, I might actually start to do mistakes here and there. So basically I get blinded. But at the point you to see the mistakes, focus on those mistakes. And try to get over them. Like, give them extra training. I give you an example. As I love to play Amon Amar, I love to play Sabatom, I love to play Gojira. I prefer learn to learn my instrument with the songs I just love to play. So, try to stack as many enjoyable songs as you can. I currently have... Okay, I, I won't remember all the songs that I'm currently practicing, but let's see. Sabaton Screaming Eagles, Sabaton Bismarck, Sabaton Steel Commander, Sabaton Uprising, Sabaton... Okay, I don't remember, but... I used to train Sabaton Gotmitans, but I dropped it for now because there were certain parts that were a little bit too difficult for me. So I basically trained it, I put it in my training box for a while, forget it for a while, go for other songs. I have a lot of songs waiting in my training box just to get opened, picking up some previous songs I tried to learn. And then I have songs from Amon Amart, Garden of Asgard, Coming of the Tide, Asator. Then I have some coast songs and so on. So basically I have multiple songs, let's say 10 songs. I'm simul training at the same time. So basically what I'm grinding, I'm st starting with the standard tuning songs, going through them, then I'm going lower to other songs, then I'm doing the other way back, and horse have passed. Before and after the solo training process, there is a pretty good idea to do some you know, warming up exercises and uh, the same things you can do at the end or do some uh, other style of workouts or exercises. Uh, if, if you, especially because this channel is about metal and electric guitar, Baird is again one of the best players like showing the different guitar technique videos and play along videos for you to practice and uh, do good exercises. But yes, Train with many different songs so you don't get bored to play the same freaking songs all over and over and over and again you just get so bored even to some motivational guy would come here and say well this is boring sometimes because you, it's good to learn one song at a time or something but I'm just breaking that rule it's just no sense I would rather have 50 songs at a time and play 24 hours straight if I feel so and I'm learning the guitar fast, I don't really care. So don't be ashamed to play just millions of songs and just training them separately. You will learn them. You won't forget them. You will just forget the song if you don't like playing it. Like if, if you're just dropping the song for like two weeks. Of course you will gonna unmemorize the song. At least part of the song. 
Just go back for it and you will remember it again. Play multiple songs. If you start to feel like you are going to be overwhelmed, like your mind isn't working with your hand anymore, it might require you to do one of the three things. First one is sleep. You're just tired. When you're tired, you just don't have the energy to play. Go to sleep then and play it the next day. Don't for force your workout if you're just super tired. It just wastes your just time if it's not working. Meanwhile, if you're tired, don't go to watch some nonsense stuff online like getting dopamine spikes and postponing your sleeping process. If, if it's not late enough for you to go to sleep, go to cook some um, healthy food or go walk outside or should do some sort of meditative activity or to, and then go to sleep and be refreshed at the morning. But if it's not like very very late and you, you're just trying to feel overwhelmed, it, it might be a sign of you just need a bit. You need a temporary environment change. That means if you're too much in your room, like the walls here, if I'm being here the whole day, I start to, it just goes insane sometimes. You need to change your environment. It means go outside, go to gym, go to a workout, go to social, go see a friend, go, see, go to see your family. You're refreshing something here, you're refreshing your mind. And when you come back home, you feel better. You probably don't feel tired anymore. Do these things, you will just have the energy to play like up to six hours a day. Unless you just don't have time to play, of course, go to work. You have other things to do sometimes. You should always have the guitar as your first period. And if, even if you enjoy to watch my videos, like if you're even not a guitarist, if you're playing some other instrument or just watching my videos, say I'm also giving self improvement tips in my videos. I'm not giving a straight advice for you to like read a book that's about relationship, for example because the channel is about guitar, but when I'm talking about something that drives or gives you better discipline or motivation or whatever gives you better boost to play your guitar or do things better in life, generally, it will just reflect in other areas of life as well. Okay, brothers and sisters, thank you for watching. If you find my videos enjoyable or available or fun or anything, or well thank you see you in the next video brothers and sisters